Title of the Story The King of the Forest Near the country of the Afars, there was once a big forest. A tribe of Hinas lived in the forest. They had a strong and clever king. Nobody went near them. Everyone was afraid of the Hinas and their king. For Afar brothers lived near the forest. They were good hunters. Every day, they went to hunt for meat. One day, one of the brothers said, I want to go into the forest. I want to see what is there. I'm not afraid of the Hinas or their king. His brothers agreed. We want to see the forest too, they all said. We'll all come with you. The forest was dark and very big. The four brothers walked for a long time. They didn't meet anyone. Then, suddenly, a hyena ran into the path in front of them. Stop, he said. Who are you? Where are you going? We're for travelers, and we're walking through the forest, the first brother said. We don't want to hurt you. Let us go on. No, the hyena said. Our king doesn't like strangers. You must come with me and see him. The brothers looked round. There were more hyenas now. They were angrily showing their teeth. Come on, they shouted. Be quick! Come and see our king. The king of the Hinas was very big. He had long teeth and a red tongue. Why did you come into the forest? He asked the first brother. You know I don't like strangers. I want to eat you. Who do you think will save you? God will save me, said the first brother. God made me. He knows the day of my birth and the day of my death. I trust in God. I knew, the king of the Hinas said to the second brother. Who will save you? The men of my tribe will save me, the second brother said. They will see my blood and they'll be angry. They'll come with their spears and kill all my enemies. I trust in the men of my tribe. What about you, the king of the Hinas said to the third brother. Who will save you? My mother, the earth, will save me, said the third brother. She gives me my food and my water comes from her. I trust in Mother Earth. The king of the Hinas turned to the fourth brother. I knew, he said. Who will save you? The fourth brother fell down on his knees. O oh, great king, he said. You alone can save me. You're strong and good. I know you won't kill me. I trust you. The hyena king looked at the first brother again. You trust in God, he said. That's good. God made men, but he made us, the Hinas, also. We can't fight against God. We can't kill you. You can go. He said to the second brother, you trust the men of your tribe. You're right. They're strong and brave. We don't want a war with them. We can't kill you. You can go. Then he turned to the third brother. And you trust in Mother Earth, he said. She gives you your food, and the water you drink comes from her. But we Hinas also live on the earth. We need her too. We cannot hurt her. You are free to go. And me? 
What about me? cried the fourth brother. The hyena smiled. His big white teeth shone. You're a fool, he said. You trusted us, the hyenas. We can't fight God. We can't fight your tribe and we can't fight against Mother Earth. But we hyenas can fight each other. It doesn't matter at all. So the hyenas killed the fourth brother and ate him. Title of the story The Best Dream Once upon a time, there were three men called Mogala, Gadato, and Orbis. Mogala and Gadato were big men, but Orbis was very small. The three men were walking together along the road. They were on a long, long journey. The sun was high in the sky and it was very hot. I'm tired, Mogala said. I am too, Gadato said. And I'm hungry, said Orbis. Let's stop here, under these trees, Mogala said. We can rest. It will be cooler later. We can go on then. The three men stopped under the trees. They put up their tent and rested. There's no village here, Gadato said. We can't get any food. What are we going to eat? We have a goat with us, said Orbis. Let's kill it and eat it. So Mogala killed the goat. He cut it up and put it into a pot. Gadato and Orbis made a fire and began to cook the meat. We need more wood for the fire, Orbis said. I'll go and look for some. And he went to look for wood. Gadato looked into the pot. The goat smelled delicious. But there was not very much meat. Your goat was very small, Gadato said to Mogala. Mogala looked into the pot, too. You're right, he said. There's not enough for all of us. The two men looked at each other. Orbis is small, Gadato said. We're big. We need the meat. He doesn't. Let's trick him, Mogala said. Then we can eat all the meat ourselves. Soon Orbis came back with more wood for the fire. Is the meat ready yet? He asked. Oh no, Gadato said. This goat was very old. It will take a long time to cook. Let's lie down and go to sleep. We'll wake up later and it will be ready. I've got an idea, Mogala said. We'll go to sleep and then we'll dream. One of us will have the best dream. We'll let him eat all the meat. That's a good idea, Gadato said. I agree. Orbis looked at Mogala and Gadato. They're trying to trick me, he thought. But he smiled and said, yes, it's a good idea. I agree, too. I'm very hungry. God will send me a good dream. The three men lay down. Soon Mogala and Gadato were asleep. But Orbis didn't sleep. He waited and waited. Mogala, he said quietly. Mogala didn't answer. He didn't move. Gadato. Orbis said quietly. Gadato didn't answer. He didn't move. Very quietly, Orbis went to the fire. He took the meat out of the pot and began to eat it. 
He ate and ate and ate. Soon, all the meat was finished. Now only the bones of the goat were in the pot. Orbis wasn't hungry now. He was happy. He lay down and went to sleep. At last, Mogula and Gadato woke up. They woke Orbis, too. Oh. Mogula said. I had a wonderful dream. God took me to paradise. He showed me beautiful gardens and rivers of water and gave me wonderful food to eat. You were lucky, said Orbis. What was your dream, Gadato? Oh, said Gadato. It was a beautiful dream. An angel carried me to Mecca. I met the Prophet Muhammad and we talked about many, many things. Ah, said Orbis. That was a lovely dream. Well, asked Mogala. Tell us your dream, Orbis. Oh, Orbis said. My dream wasn't beautiful at all. I was lying here, by the fire, and a big strong man came up to me. He put his foot on my neck. I'm small. I couldn't move. He ate all the meat out of the pot. What could I do? I couldn't stop him. What? said Mogala and Gadato. They ran to the pot and looked inside. Only the bones of the goat were there. But it wasn't a dream. Mogala said. Somebody did come. Somebody ate all our meat. Gadato and Mogala were very angry. Why didn't you call out to us, they said to Orbis. Why didn't you wake us up? What do you mean, said Orbis. I called and called, but you didn't hear me. You didn't call my name, said Mogala. Yes, I did, said Orbis, but you were in paradise with God. You couldn't hear me. You didn't call me, said Gadato. I did, said Orbis, but you were far away. You were in Mecca with the Prophet Mohammed. Gadato and Mogala looked at each other. Orbis is small, they thought, but he is not stupid at all. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.